Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mom Impressions, and today we're going to be talking about Postal 4 No Regrets. This game came out April 20th, 2022. I want to thank the devs and publishers running with shoes for the review copy. Now, basically this game was in early access for a couple of years, and now it's finally out. This is version 1.0. There's been a couple of hot fixes, and I want to answer a couple questions today. First of all, what is the game? Is it worth playing, and is it worth your money, etc.? So, well... The game is the fourth in the series, and basically the first three were kind of very similar. All you do is take control of this guy. Uh, I forgot his name. I think it was called... Uh, hold on. His name was Rick Hunter, and then you have a bunch of other ones. But basically, you end up going to this town. You're just a, whatever, a guy down on his luck for the most part and with your dog, and you're just a badass. And, uh, you go around, you, you know... Your car got stolen, your whole house got stolen, so you're trying to get a new job in this town called Edenson. Uh, so you go down and all hell ensues. This is basically a somewhat campaign game. You know, there are missions to do, which take you to new areas and actually start missions. Uh, kind of like, uh, you know, Grand Theft Auto or even the Saints Rose, but very, very basic. And then it's like half sandbox. So you run around, you go, you know, kill people, you mess around with them, you piss on them, you kick them, you set them on fire, you know, you dismember them, you go into houses, you steal food, you eat it, you take drugs, etc. So it's a game that, um, honestly, it kind of feels like a very early 2000s game in terms of both gameplay and humor now the whole appeal of the series and i do get it it's all like oh yeah you know you're gonna you, you know, kick cats you know mess with gary coleman oh i can't believe he set fire to all those people in the hospital you know it's it's a game that's like it knows it's like cheesy it knows it's supposed to be offensive and that's the whole reason the game exists uh, because they're not trying to make the most best game out there. So you have to go in this game knowing that. Like, this is the fourth game. They know, hey, this is this game's stupid. This game is not very fun to play. Not very fun to play. But the whole appeal is that, yeah, you can just do whatever. It's, like, offensive. It's edgy. So if you are... As long as you go in knowing that, then, yeah. If you enjoyed 2. If you enjoyed Postal 2, you're going to like it. Because it's just literally more of the same. So to go into more specifics about what you're going to be doing, you know... You go in and you get a job and it tells you like, you know, there's a mini map. Say, hey, you go over here, you go do that. There's and then you start main missions with cutscenes and stuff, which is kind of neat. And then some, you know, events happen that don't take place in the sandbox. So there is a reason to do that. Um, you're going to be going through many different days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, whatever, doing lots of different quests. There's little side quests as well. Uh, for example, there's little tokens on the ground where you go postal, where you do a challenge and all that stuff. So, you know what? There isn't much of a story here. It's just, you know, basically go make money, go do what you got to do and just have some fun in the sandbox. Now, what I do want to talk about is the $40 price tag. I think this game honestly should not have left early access with the way that it is right now first of all forty dollars is way too much it's twenty dollars twenty percent off but honestly you know it's single player only full control support but i, I play keyboard and mouse it's steam cloud now there was a lot of uh, bad things that i've been experiencing uh, not with the game itself like i know what the game is you know it's like i said it's edgy sandbox seats whatever it's fun it's supposed to be all that good stuff but deep down the way the game runs is not good it's very unoptimized, extremely unoptimized. This is a game that doesn't have gigantic maps. It does not have maps. As a matter of fact, there's very, very small like sections of a map that you're in, very small. And then you go to another map, uh, another portion of the map, and then it loads for like uh, five to 10 seconds every single time you go do that. So it really takes you out of the game because it has to load the very, very small portions of the map. Um, the FPS would drop immensely. I, I locked it to 60 and I made it borderless. I turned down all the graphics, but the game was still lag at a ton of areas. So much that, you know, it would just destroy the, the recording I was doing. It's not great. Um, it would be running around 80 to 90 percent CPU, uh, uh, sorry, GPU usage at a time. And to give you reference, I'm using a 2080 card. I can run Elder Ring perfectly, but this game is just very, very unoptimized. There's a lot of bugs too. There's a lot of bugs where you know if you go too fast and you walk around too fast, you run around, you can actually see enemies. Uh, not enemies. You can see like entities, like cats and dogs, like pop up out of the air because they're just spawning right there. Um, the game does have a lot of options in the graphics to tweak it, but honestly, you really have to turn everything down 
it's that good, it's that bad. Well, unless you're well, I am running a lot of uh, recording stuff in the background, so that could be me. But honestly, I'm seeing a lot of other reviews. People are saying it's the same thing. It's not that great. But you know, the game. The recent reviews is mostly positive. All reviews since the game has been out, as of recording, there's around 6,000 6, or so reviews, say very positive. And like I said, this is a niche audience. It's those who enjoy like the old school games where you really just mess around. You really just mess around. You don't take this game seriously and then it's gonna be for you. $40 though, it's kind of a lot to ask. It really is for this sort of gameplay quality. I would say, hey, wait till it's like $25, because I think that's what it's worth. Um, there's a lot of other problems I had with the game, too. Such as, there really, you know, even this is supposed to be like fun, sandboxy. There isn't a lot to do in the sandbox besides just kill people. Find the new weapon here, kill someone with it, and that's pretty much it. Um, you know, there isn't that much danger as well. You can always find health everywhere lying around. There's always Kevlar vests hidden in the corners. Um, enemies don't really fight back except the cops and you know when you're on specific missions of course they're gonna be shooting you back but yeah this game um you know it's a it's a big average recommendation for me it's like I really wish on a steam page there was like a, a middle ground because I don't recommend it but I don't not recommend it I see why people would like this game but at the same time it's just like you know, if you want to spend your time doing this, that's no problem. But I just want to let you guys know, I feel like this is still an early access in terms of performance because there's honestly like almost no NPCs besides the ones that just roaming the grounds. There's no people running stores or anything like that. You know, you can't blow up uh, cars as far as I can see and I've been putting them in fire. You, nothing happens there. Even like small things such as there's no reflections on mirrors. I'm just, you know, you don't need that. I'm just saying like there is a lot of stuff here that's extremely basic. Um, like even fire extinguishers, nothing happens when you do anything like that you, you hit him and nothing happens uh so yeah it's just very very basic but like i said this is the fourth in the series if you get this game you have to have tried the other ones if you love this you absolutely love it it's your jam then hey four is just more of the same i just wish it ran perfectly but yeah it's just oh man the hot fixes man it's really rough there's a, there's a lot of uh, things a lot of things that they need to fix but hey you know I would say forget the sandbox portion, go in and do the quest because those are the most best parts about this. Go do the quest because, you know, there's cutscenes and stuff. Oh, even with like, okay, I'll tell you about some other bugs I had as well. Um, every time you would open up your tablet, your map, the UI, right? You can click around and go to the other tabs. Sometimes it would totally lock up and I couldn't access any of the other tabs nothing would happen i would save the game load it and then it worked again i had to do that a couple of times so there's a ui bugs that way um i also had sections where just enemies just don't do anything they just stand around and literally don't do a, a damn thing <laughs> it's interesting because you know they're supposed to be stupid and dumb but it's just like i'm standing right next to you you're not gonna shoot me so it's a bunch of stuff like that ah it's it's interesting but yeah that's postal for no regrets. It's more of the same. Uh, but yeah, I just probably wait for a sale unless you just cannot wait. Cannot wait. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot. If you haven't already subscribed for daily videos, if you want to see any more footage, I'm um, uploading it all on the Let's Play channel. All links down below. Please also come by Twitch in the Discord. Links in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.